Look at this your first shrimp. Oh, okay. Put it, put it, put it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this girl. Look at the handbag she's got. Oh my goodness. Wow. We. Oh my god, oh my god! Oh yeah, we can! Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back again to Helen! Hello! Yes, my British friend is here experiencing Taijung and in today's video we are gonna go shrimp fishing! Which I've never done before. Now do you call it shrimp or prawn? If it's shrimp, it's small, right? If it's I, prawn, it's big. I have no idea. Or is that the other way around? No idea, but it's a very <laughs> traditional Taiwanese activity. Oh, okay. Maybe some success, maybe some failure, but the most okay. important thing is we're gonna get inside, have some fun doing okay. something very traditional. Okay, let's go. What are you expecting? No idea. So, just as Helen has no idea what to expect, I had no idea about the difference between a prawn and a shrimp. But according to Google, there is a difference. And as you're enjoying this video, please do me a favor and help promote the video by hitting the like button and commenting down below with your own shrimp fishing experience. But now let's get back to see how Helen is feeling. I just feel nervous. <laughs> <laughs> What's making you nervous? Just everybody. <laughs> Oh, you can cook it here? Yeah, whatever we catch, we're gonna eat it in, in a traditional dish. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Busy? I thought it would be quiet yeah. in the afternoon. How does this even work? You pay per hour? Do you pay per shrimp? You want to Oh, okay. That's uh, right, Dad. I'm, I'm not also not very familiar with this practice. I've only done it once or twice before oh, really? in my life. Yeah, yeah. You use the dead shrimps to catch the real shrimp? Yep, Helen, that's right. Shrimp are indeed cannibalistic, but that's about all I know. So, thanks to this guy who offered up his help in setting up our rods and hooks before guiding us to his seats. That looks good. That looks good. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, so now, yeah. Where we were lucky enough to bump into a couple of viewers who were very happy to see us. You can go, man. Thanks, meeting you, man. That couple will come to our rescue a little later, but first it was time to double check with Helen if her expectations had changed now she's seen the environment. Okay, so what are you expecting? To catch nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we have got lots of people watching us, not lots of people are interested to see us uh, I know, it succeed. Like I <laughs> so we have to uh, be successful. We have to do something. Ah, okay, here comes our rods. Shishi. How? Be careful of the hook, don't hook yourself. Okay, we have no idea really what we're doing, we're not professionals. I do have a friend called uh, I Am Patty. Wow, here's your one. Nice. She is a super professional, this. she is gonna watch this video. And cringe. Cringe, <laughs> criticize, but we're gonna try our best. The first thing we had to try our best with was actually putting bait on the line, and as Helen explains in her perfect British English. Oh, it's so fiddly. This is Im almost impossible. But luckily I have my favorite Chinese phrase to ask for help when struggling in the vicinity of professionals. <laughs> and our friendly neighbors sprang into action and helped us out. Ah! Wow, you're very smart. Thank you. I feel like a pet of in like Legend of Zelda. You know when you play the <laughs> fishing game. Okay, let it go in. And now what you do is you have to watch your... My little boingy boingy. Your, your float, your boy. My boy, and when my you boy. Feel that, when you feel that getting pulled down. How am I going to feel that? You, you, you will feel it. You, you, really? You'll, yeah. Okay, so Helen, you are shrimp fishing. I am. What's your goal? What's your move now? If I can catch one, I'll be very happy. I think you will catch one. I think you'll catch more than one. I'm expecting instant results. I'm not made for fishing. Now we wait. <laughs> now we wait. Exhilarating. <laughs> <laughs> Last time we did this, how many catch? Oh, I, I catch quite a lot. Really? Yeah, but I was with a professional. I was with Patty. Oh, yeah. Patty's a lucky charm. Yeah. Maybe the shrimp are just not hungry at the moment. I guess it's more about the, the activity rather yeah. than the catching. Yeah, it's yeah, the peace yeah, yeah. and the... I the... can see why Tony's like to do this. Yeah. So yes, despite dozens of shrimp being thrown in at each end of the pool, and despite Helen and I remaining super focused, the other customers were having much more success than us. Oh, we got one, we got one, we got one. That was quick. Oh, they're huge. 
my god, that's so scary! Scary shrimp as far as Helen was concerned, but the scariest thing for me was the prospect of paying 650 NT. I definitely felt a nibble on that one, but it's uh, it escaped with my bait. Just to feed the shrimp with my bait without catching one for two hours. Now I've just fed a shrimp that's not going to be hungry anymore. But after some expert advice for Helen from myself... What you're hoping to do is actually not catch them in the mouth when they're eating your bait. You want to get them like on the like, catch them by the leg or by the head or by the tentacles. See, okay. Just a few seconds later, this happened. Oh, 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 oh. Your first shrimp? No, okay, put it, put it in. <laughs> I don't want to see it. <laughs> that was so scary. I'm so happy. The video, oh. now the video is done. Okay. <laughs> Let's go eat. That's it, perfect. <laughs> Were you expecting it to be smaller? I don't know, but it's, yeah, you're right. You definitely feel it. You don't dare to touch it? That's scary. <laughs> it was a small one, okay, but they're so big. They they're like lobsters, right? They're, they're almost so like a, a baby lobster. Now I've got one, I see the appeal of it now. <laughs> it's addictive, right? Yeah. You really want to get yeah. one. So other than your new hobby of shrimp fishing, what yeah. other things do you do for fun in Taiwan? Bar hopping. I How's like the food. cocktail bar scene in Taipei? Amazing. Really? There's so many little bars, like everywhere. They're oh, all okay. fitting about. I don't just drink. <laughs> I also go to the gym. How do you feel like the gym culture is different between Taiwan and the UK? So different. Really? Yeah. People don't talk to you in the gyms in Taiwan. They will just kind of stand there and like stare at you. <laughs> Apart from that, it's a lot cleaner here. Like people wipe down everything. Oh, and okay. they like make sure everything is really clean before they use it and after they use it. How's my guy doing? I'm just checking on my shrimp. <laughs> making sure he's okay. We are going to enjoy eating him later. No, <laughs> I want to name him. <laughs> Don't name him. I can't let you defeat me on the activity that I invited you to, that I proclaim to be the expert on. I need to catch a shrimp. They can't catch they can they That's our mission. That's, a, that's our goal, yeah, to catch as many as them. I think they've got like seven, eight, nine, something like that. Oh, 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 oh. oh yes, 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 yes. Oh, no. Oh, no, I you had him. one. I had one. Ay, yo. You have to be really like quick and snappy. Yeah. So we discussed a little bit about the differences between Taichung and Taipei. How about your home country of the UK? What do you, what do you think is the biggest difference between life in Taiwan and life in the UK? Oh, where to begin? <laughs> What's the biggest difference would you say? Just what we consider polite and rude and things like that are very different here. Taiwanese aren't rude, it's just a different culture, right? For okay. example, like here, like people don't open doors like for you. Do you notice that? It drives me crazy too, but I've had to like teach myself that like this is not the UK. I wonder what that is because like I, I, I sure always and always I never walk into a building before a girl. Yeah. Even like guys, I will open, I will keep the door open for a guy if he's behind me. It's so weird how Taiwanese people are so nice and kind in other ways of life. I mean, could care less. The details like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. I think there's only one way to liven up this party. One way. Beer. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome to Taichung. Thank you. Oh, um, and the world is okay again. And the world is okay. <laughs> the shrimp are flourishing. <laughs> Just going to be sharing one shrimp. <laughs> How romantic. Like, a, like Lady in the, like lady lady in the Tramp. The tramp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did he just catch you with his hand? <laughs> Hi. I wonder if that's allowed. I certainly hope it is allowed because Helen had just spotted a shrimp climbing up the wall in front of us. So just like the tough hunter guy I am, I went ahead and did this. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> I got all with my hand. Hello. <laughs> Finally. Nice. That was easier. That was much easier, right? <laughs> We've got one shrimp each. Hey, that one. I found these. Are you claiming that? I, well, I'm not claiming <laughs> it, I'm just saying. Okay, so yeah, so far, a little fewer shrimp than we expected, but having fun? Yeah, very much so. It's nice to be in a very traditional Taiwanese environment. Yeah. And it's so nice to see everybody having fun themselves, like and families are here. So cute. Yeah, very cool. We've got 10 minutes left on our time. We've still only caught 
Two, two shrimp. shrimp. Oh god, I really hit the jackpot too early. Yeah, I think that gave you a false sense of hope. I, I, it really did. It was you like, were like, oh, this is easy. easy. <laughs> we're gonna be, we're gonna be pulling the shrimp out left, right, and centre. Yeah. But now it's two hours later, and we're still only uh, one shrimp each in. Okay, time up. Two hours in. Let's get our bag. What if I just drop it? <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at our feet we're gonna have. <laughs> Do you know what's the fun part? What? Now you have to kill him. No, don't, you're joking. <laughs> I can't do that. We'll get to the killing and cooking part later because first I needed to order an extra shrimp dish for us to actually have some dinner to eat. Hongli Sha And Helena just found a new use for our rather empty looking shrimp net. My designer handbag. Look at this girl. Look at the handbag she's got. Oh my goodness. Wow, we. <laughs> but back to the killing and thankfully our friend from earlier showed up again. Okay. Follow you and took us to the preparation area where he began decapitating our shrimp okay, Salaman. <laughs> when completely out of the blue a new character showed up in the video to blow us away with this generous donation oh, 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 oh my god oh my god oh yeah we can Oh my god, that's so generous. Yes, even after 16 years of being here, Taiwanese people continue to astonish me with their generosity and kind-heartedness. And this is another perfect example of how Taiwanese people make me and other foreigners feel so welcomed here. So a huge thanks to this gentleman for his shrimp, thanks to the couple who helped us with the bait, and of course, thanks to our friend for helping us dispatch our new shrimp. But after a few minutes under the grill and some more help from our new friends... Beautiful. Beautiful, Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Our shrimp were ready for me and Helen to sit down with a beer and enjoy. We got treated so royally by those that couple. Yeah, such a sweet guy. So many people came to our aid today. I hate to say it, but it's a cliche that Taiwanese people are so welcoming and rooting. This looks so good. I really want to try this. This is Feng Li Xia Xiao. This is okay. Taiwanese uh, pineapple shrimp. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Congratulations on your... My beautiful beef that prepared for us. They've donated us like 12 extra shrimp. We've got a whole shrimp family. So yes, how has your shrimp fishing experience been up till now? Incredible. At first I thought this is going to be so boring. <laughs> so I caught one, I felt the adrenaline. What, would you say that was in the first five minutes you caught your yeah, first one? Yeah, and then after that it was kind of <laughs> a little disappointing. <laughs> well, anyway, first, anyway, first time, Funky Shacho. Cheers. Mm. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten? Yeah. Nice. And the next dish is our shrimp. I'm not sure which ones are the ones that we caught. A real gentleman will never let a girl peel a shrimp by herself. Oh, that's why I've never done it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's my honor to peel a shrimp for you. Oh, thank you so much. A bit of wasabi and soy sauce, but I'll let you eat yours. Just lightly salted. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my god. That is so good. So meaty. Perfect. I thought it was going to be way too fishy tasting. No, it's just pure yeah. meaty. It's meaty. It's really nice. So would you recommend shrimp fishing to people watching from abroad, from other countries, to yeah. come to Taiwan and try shrimp fishing? I think you have to. Like now, I can't believe I've gone so long without having done it. I think that's about time to wrap this video up. Thanks, you guys, okay. for watching. Thanks to Helen for being in the video. Thank you. Have you enjoyed your stay in Taichung this weekend? I have. Thank you so much. Yeah, the night market was so fun, right? It was so fun. It was amazing. As for now, it's always time for me to say goodbye. So I'll see you next time in my life in Taiwan. Peace. Bye bye. Bye bye.